Good morning, third graders. I welcome you to a brand new social studies lesson. Today, we are going to continue reading Unit 1 Communities Around Us, but we are going to cover lesson four. So in the previous lesson, we learned about some very important math and globe skills. And in this lesson, we are going to read through lesson four and learn ways you can discover your community. So let's get started now. Please don't forget to pause this video uh, to replay clips that you don't understand or information that you want repetition for a better understanding. So let's get started. Let's start reading. Discover your community. Imagine that you are a detective. Detectives search for clues to discover the truth about events. They read books, talk to people and visit places. Detectives make notes about each discovery, both large and small. The clues they find are like puzzle pieces. When these pieces are put together, they form a complete picture of what happened. All right, so we're gonna go through some vocabulary right here as we read through the lesson. Uh, and on this page, the opening sentence was, imagine that you're a detective. So I want you to think that you're a detective and your job is to discover your community. How can you do that? Let's read to find out. So become a detective. First, let's look and analyze uh, this picture right here. Uh, I want you to observe what place is this? What do you think is going on? You can see some computers, lots of bookshelves, the students sitting here reading. So that is a library and libraries have a lot of resources that you can use for community research. For instance, Qatar National Library here in Qatar. It's a wonderful place to go explore. They have homework clubs. They have so much to explore. They have online e-resources, lots of things that you can explore. So let's try to become a detective. Like a detective, you can search for facts about your own community. You can learn what life was like in your community's past. You may learn about jobs and leaders. You might also discover facts about cultures in your community. One way to find information about your community is to visit a library. A library has many reference works or sources of facts. So the word reference works means lots of material, lots of data, books, magazines, journals, and sources of facts that you can accumulate while researching your data as you become a detective to learn more about your community. Now, what all can you do while you're at a library? You can study maps, you can learn about the community's geography, you can look at the old and new photographs of your community, and you can always ask a librarian to help you uh, and find what you need. And you can take notes when you find something useful. So you can go to a library and learn a lot about your community. That's one way you can do it. Now, uh, that's the post um, that I'm going to add this link into today's e-post um, and e-learning. This link takes you to the online resources you can access. Um, and all of this is provided by Qatar National Library, a huge data, lots and lots of things for you to explore. And if you do not have a membership, I highly recommend you take your ID cards and, and get a membership card it's a wonderful place to visit every now and then now what else can you do well you can interview other citizens now we know that qatar is a is a telescope of different nationalities so many people from all over the globe right from different cultures lots of diversity let's read so interview other citizens. Interviewing or asking questions is another way to go, a good way to learn about your community. There are many people you can interview. You can ask business owners about jobs in your community. You can also talk to community members about different cultures found in your community. Older family members are also good sources of information. They can tell you about your ancestors. An ancestor is someone in a person's family who lived long ago. So your grandparents, grandparents or parents of your grandparents, if they're alive, you can ask them questions and they're going to give you 
lots of information how the community evolved into what you have now. So ancestors are people or someone from your family who've lived long ago. An older person can also tell you about your heritage. So this word right here is a word that you should be familiar with. A heritage is the set of values and ways of life handed down from people who lived long ago. Now, this is a, uh, this is a screenshot from the census, a population city-wise here in Qatar. And you can explore this, this paragraph right here. I'm going to quickly go through it. I'm going to scan it. So Qatar's population is a bit unknown as the Qatar Statistics Authority estimated that the population was 1.9 million in 2030. So this data is not very up to date. You can research about the current statistics and let's look at the nationalities we have here. We've got Qatar, Qataris, Arab nationals. We've got Indians, Nepalese, Filipinos, Bangladesh, people from Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and lots and lots of nationalities here in Qatar. So you can interview people you know from different nationalities and people who have different cultures and learn more about your community. Now, how do you plan the interview? Now, well, you need to decide or what you're going to talk about. So you need to write down questions that you want to ask the person that you're interviewing, and you need to set a time and a place to meet. And before the interview, you definitely want to find out facts about your topic and the person, and then make a list of questions to ask. What you do during the interview? Well, you can use a digital video camera, tape recorder, um, and you need to definitely ask for the consent, ask them if they're okay with it, you can interview them. And if they're not, you can simply write down the answers. That's fine too. Listen carefully, do not interrupt. Let them speak. Take notes as you talk with the person and then write down some of his or her exact words. And after the interview, you can thank the person and write a thank you note later. So these are some steps that you can take while you plan your interview. Now, what do I want you to do? I want you to plan your interview, keeping this, in mind all these steps right here that we've discussed and then you share your plan when you come to school with me and just for your reference uh, i'm gonna post this link for you it's a it's a great video where a kid meets a 101 year old citizen from the community so i'll leave a link in the discussions in case you wish to watch right next what else can you do so yeah we've learned that you can go to the library you can interview people in your community what else can you do? Well, you can write to or visit places. So let's quickly scan this text. To get information about your community's history, you can write or visit museums and historic sites. Now, what are historic sites? We've learned about it in Qatar history, right? Do we call that? A historic site is a place where an important event took place. So Al Zabara Fort, Al Wajba Fort, Al Qud, and the Tavis here in Qatar. Those are her historic sites and a lot of information is present about these historical sites in the museums here in Qatar. What else can you do? Another source of information is your community's historical society. A historical society is an organization of community members who are interested in the community's history. And here in Qatar, we've got loads of museums filled with information. They, they conduct workshops for students, uh, lots of good stuff. Uh, I'll post a lot of links for you so that you may explore it. Okay, what else can you do to find more information? Well, you can, you can um, go and visit places like businesses, parks, schools, government offices within your community to find more information. Now, once you've decided uh, uh, how do you collect that information, how do you how do you scribble it down? Well, you can write a letter or send an email to ask for more information. And um, here in Qatar, you have museums you can write to. I'll post some links for you and I'll direct you how you can do that. So let's talk about Qatar Museum. I want you to know that on this website, uh, you're pretty familiar with this website, right? You can just write Qatar Museum or .qa, go to this website and then go right here to connect. And then there's gonna be a drop 
um, lane in right here. Click on in conversation. Now, the moment you click here, you're going to find some very, very important people that work in Qatar Museum and all of them are right there to answer your questions. So anything you want to ask them, you can write down your question, uh, put your name in, tell them where you live, uh, write your email address and you can write to them. Okay, so this is one way you can do it. Now, how to ask questions during a visit? Well, if you're visiting a museum or a historical society or a historic site, make sure that you have a list of questions to ask and tell who you are and why you're visiting. Listen carefully, take notes. Uh, again, before you leave, say a thank you to the person. Now, I want you to know that the National Museum of Qatar uh, has workshops and it has um, walk-in family tours where there is a guide who's going to tour you, tour you around the museum and give you lots and lots of information. So you definitely want to try out that website as well and uh, register yourself and go there, pay a visit. They have these family walk-in tours on Saturdays. I'm sure you're going to find a lot of information. So here is what you're going to do today. You're going to answer questions in the e-quiz. It's going to be super easy just to assess your understanding. And then once you're done, you are going to watch this interview with Her Highness Sheikh Musa. Uh, this is a clip from Al Jazeera English. And here you're going to learn how Silatech has empowered the youth in the Middle East. Uh, and then you're going to write down a line or two uh, that you visited a site or you explored the library or you went to a museum and what did you find out about your community please do not forget to share your discussions in the comments um, uh, or in our e-learning section right and you can choose a lot of uh, information from the links that i'm going to provide you great so best of luck grade three don't forget to share your work and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask